in regards to blood versus genetics, like why, why is this effective? Why are we focusing on the genes versus blood or vice versa? So how does that work, like framework and things of that nature versus, you know, doing blood? Uh, maybe the different dynamics of that. Yeah, of course. So uh, blood work is great. I still utilize it as well. It's a snapshot. It tells me exactly what's going on in your bloodstream at that very time, at that very point of the day when we take it. Uh, it does not so much tell me what's going on on the cellular level, what's going on uh, behind the scenes. Uh, it's This is already what's been broken down, metabolized, and what's in the bloodstream. Genetics, uh, on the other hand, and looking at SNPs tells me What's go how is your body metabolizing these things? And is it able to metabolize these things? Uh, so blood work is nice. It gives us, obviously it's a great tool that I use every day. However, when we look at your genetics, we can say, okay, we see that within this particular gene, you need this particular type of nutraceutical within the pathway, uh, you know, the biochemical pathway to be absorbed and at this amount in order for it to work. We use blood work as monitoring more so than anything. So the genetics is the foundation uh, of how your body biochemically works or where your weaknesses are, where the blood work is just kind of confirmation, to be honest with you, to say, okay, you're getting the right amount or you're not. Genetics isn't going to tell me uh, that you're low in vitamin D, but it is going to tell me that you don't absorb it as well as somebody else, and uh. I need to come in and give you a little bit more. So there's, it, it just is more precise. Uh, we've been doing blood work for years, uh, taking somebody's blood and putting them on things. Obviously, it hasn't been working very well or else we wouldn't be sitting here today. Hmm. So now we know that we can actually have our your blueprint in front of us. I tell patients all the time, I feel like I'm cheating. I'm just smart enough to know what this means because I've studied it, not, not any other reason. Uh, that I can actually navigate through your blueprint, which you do one time from you and don't have to do it again. Um, and I can figure out where your weaknesses are and go in and support them on a level that's never been done before and use your blood work as, as kind of a monitor uh, to make sure that everything else is looking good and there's no problem. So you've got snapshot and you've got uh, chem biochemical foundational, uh, your blueprint pretty much. Got it, so I wanna get clarity uh, just from talking about the red yellow and green just for everybody. The green means that you have not inherited that SNP from either parent, right? The yellow means you've inherited from one parent, either mother or father, and the red is that you've inherited from both. So if you had both, then you're gonna need more of that specific type of mineral or uh, plant-based product, correct? Um, correct. Now, in regards, there was a question that came up.